very welcome to the third edition of the Credit Sweden here in Omo. Ladies and gentlemen, let the tournament begin. This uh, contest is the biggest in Sweden and uh, yeah, of course we want to participate in it and uh, yeah, hopefully do good. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it this year. We participated uh, the two uh, last years and uh, this year it's, uh, the fishing is a bit tricky and it's really hard to say what's going to happen and we have so many teams here, I think it's like 105 teams and they're all so a bunch of really good fishermen so it's going to be super exciting. It's a super competition, uh, everything is well organized and lots of skilled anglers from lots of different countries is here. So it's a challenge. It's nice to be here, talk with the same kind of guys and share experience and so on. And I think it's going to be lots of nice fishes coming up today. All the fish have spawned now, and uh, yeah, and they're not. Uh, some of them standing in the bays, and some of them are standing deep. During pre-fishing, it was everything: shallows, deep, super deep. Um, we saw a lot of fish on the shallows, but they weren't really active. We will probably start with some shallow fishing in bays with uh, lots of grass, but. Uh, if we won't uh, find the pikes directly, we will move out a little bit. Not too long, but a little bit, just drifting into the base. We are going to the shallow waters. Uh, we had some good pre-fishing with some good, yes. really good pikes. And we hope, uh, yeah, we hit or more on the, on the shallows. I think uh, we're gonna fish on the drop-offs, on the rocks. It has been four or five days with no wind at all, super hot, so lots of the base that we had good pre-fishing on, it's, it's very hard there now. Lots of the fish have started spawning inside there and uh, lots of fish had some pressure for the pre-fishing pre days here, so I think base is tough. Of course if you have a good spot, you know the fish are there, you, you go for it, but, but we're going to take uh, a little bit more deeper water. Good morning, Sweden! Predator Tour 2019 is just on its way. Behind me you see all the, the boats. Well, for a, a little bit of history, uh, first edition, two years ago, we started here with 14 boats. Last year we started with 60 boats and this year, event number three, we start with over 100 boats. So, also, Predator to Sweden is booming. It's going to be bigger and bigger. Same sponsors like the Predator Tour uh, in the Netherlands. The start is exactly at 8 o'clock. And then the two uh, uh, boats of the uh, organization will drive out. We light up the green smoke and then the boats are free to go wherever they want on the lake. So we just started the competition and uh, the first fishes are being caught. 
and uh, we already got some meter pikes uh, coming in so that's uh, that's going quite well um, I got a strange pike coming in here but still mm. <laughs> don't know what to do with that but okay it's looking more like a pike fishing rod instead of a pike it's quite nice that even uh, serious fishermen send in these kind of photos but there's no score sorry for that We're going uh, at the Forshag Academy, which is a school uh, for studying fishing and uh, they have hunting and uh, adventures. So we're here at the tournament helping. So now we're at a shallow area, checking a boat, cruising along the weed lines, searching for some after spawn fish. Potatoes. Uh, we have a situa situation here with two boats that are fishing too close to each other. So uh, we have to just remind them of the distance. <laughs> Guys, you have to have more distance between the boats. They're too close. There we go. No, no, one go. Now we gotta find the other boat. Whoa. We are the Dutch fly fishing uh, team and uh, we decided to go here just with our fly rods. So we're making it hard for ourselves. But we're having a lot of fun here. Yeah, we're trying to fish the shallows near the reeds. Uh, we are hoping uh, to find some pike that have, have been spawning or maybe are pre-spawning. So we can trigger them here. So we're fishing the, 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 the shallow parts where, the, where you can find the, the rest of the remains of the reeds in the, in, in the water, like you see here. You have about 30 centimeters of water above the reeds, so the pike could be right into these reeds and will come up and take the stream. To say it in one word, not good. <laughs> we didn't catch anything, we tried everything and have been at the same places where the others have been and we had no luck, so maybe it goes better tomorrow. Today was uh, very fun, very nice. We, we got first fish from the very first cast. What I think we did well, because it's like our first tournament, we are on 12th place now, so hopefully tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, we will grow bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger. Uh, we had an amazing day. It was better than pre-fishing for us. So uh, we had like uh, eight fishes. Uh, biggest was 92, 91, uh, something 80 and 70. And the other ones were too small, so they don't count. We fished uh, mostly between seven and three meter, up against rocks and reefs and all kind of stuff. But mostly with, when, you, when there's access to the deeper water, it's been better. It seems like the pike is coming from the deeper water, go up a little bit shallow to feed and then go back to the deeper water again. Our top fish was 111, so 1 meter 11, and then we had 1 meter 5, 98, 98, and then I think it was 94 and 92. So we, uh, we were fishing actually the entire afternoon trying to, to get rid of the 92 and the 94 to improve because we looked at the stand. In the end, it was only five centimeters to separate us from number two. Of course, uh, Vestin Fishing had a really nice streak with the double 119 and then the 114. So hopefully uh, we can find a couple of really, really big ones 
the coming two days? Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, we had some very nice fish today. Uh, we have to go inside because uh, three or four from the fish are not on the leaderboard from us. So we think we, uh, we will end very high. We have uh, 114, we have 113, we have uh, several of a meter. We have uh, eight pike today, so very, very good, very good. Uh, yesterday was a good day, uh, we catch, uh, catch seven pikes, yeah that was good for the ranking so now I'm placed 36 so uh, yeah we are satisfied. Well we are casting with, with sheds, uh, we have the CT sheds from Hati Rice, as you can see here, uh, we have the 25 centimeter for uh, you know, trying to catch the bigger pikes and if they don't like the big baits you can try the smaller ones, they're 17 centimeters. It was very rough yesterday. But we had a spot on, uh, on the other side of the lake where the wind was coming from, so it was calm there. But uh, this longboat uh, handles the waves very good due to its length. It's uh, six and a half meter and uh, that's uh, an advantage because when your boat is going down, the next wave is already under your boat, so you can't fall uh, between the waves. And uh, so it's a, a comfortable drive to our spot. Uh, it's been good for, uh, for us, for Team Moja Boats. It's, um, it's been a good day one. We had a couple of really big fish, 113 and 115. So uh, that's good. Not many fish, but those big two. If we can have two big again it, today, we're really in, in, uh, in the leaderboard, high up ranked, so it's great. Good morning, day two, just uh, had the inspection. The teams are going to the waiting area and the people or the jump start, they are ready too. Yesterday we had good fishing. There was caught a lot of big pikes. We had uh, 54 pikes over one meter. So that's uh, impressive. The biggest one was uh, 119. So, and I challenge the participants to improve that numbers for today. The weather is really good. It's flat calm, even for the, for the, the start that's important to drive out safely. We have tight uh, starting procedures. So, because uh, there is a big engines, like uh, a lot of uh, uh, engines of uh, 300 horsepower. So safety first, of course. Well, uh, for today, uh, let's hope for the best. For me personally important, no accidents, so no hitting the rocks, so Navionics it is. And uh, yeah, I hope uh, for good results. We've decided to go with the jump start option here at Predator Tour Sweden. Um, basically the wind is pushing in and the waves out there, because the lake is so long, it has a long time to build big rollers and it just batters you to pieces. We want to fish down on the east side, but further south, and I'm just not going to get wrecked running all that way down there. And also, it saves me a bit of fuel. We start exactly at eight. We go out with both of the controlling boats in front. Then we drive up, all the others follow. And when we go to the sides and light the flares, they start. A meter of 30. We can also start, though. The other one will work.
we're out here in the boat and we can see here one of the competitors. Uh, I think they're looking for bait fish, probably smelt, uh, in hope of finding active fish that's hunting on these schools. Uh, it looks like they've found either a nice ledge or a school of smelt that they're going to be fishing for. Feel the big fish, not spawn out. Now you go back. Let's go. It was uh, good weather this time, not so much wave, not much wind, too hot for all the clothes, so uh, I had to strip down a bit. <laughs> and uh, we caught uh, four pikes that uh, made our scoreboard very nice. It was really slow today. Slow? Slow, yeah, we didn't, we catch one fish only. They were following and biting, but uh, not getting stuck to the hook. I don't know, I think maybe too little wind and uh, too much sun. We started uh, this morning at place number 43 and currently we rose up to place number uh, 8. Uh, and we still have two little fish uh, on the scoreboard, so we have a kind of good realistic chance to, uh, to do something beautiful here. This day was uh, really exciting. We uh, we have uh, we had a lot of uh, movement in our leaderboard. Um, the leaderboard you can see in our um, Predator app. Um, today we have a new uh, number one, um, Team Seventy Seven. It's uh, now um, on the ranking number one, and um, a lot of teams um, there. Um, upgrade uh, the fishes today and also a lot of teams um, um, catch the six pikes so that means they get thousand points extra so um, it's really really close um, between number one and number two it's just one point and um, also when I check the leaderboard from the app um, the last uh, year's winners Sean Wood and Jesus Moreberg um, they start today from um, ranking 70 and today they end the day on place 11. So it's a big movement, it's really exciting today. Uh, it's day three and we're currently in position three uh, as the day begins. So we were in first place, uh, like almost the whole first and second day. And uh, yesterday, last hour, two teams passed us, but it's only by four centimeters. And we have 119, 119 and 114 as our top fish. So we only, we have three really small fish. So if we only catch a meter fish, we're gonna, we're gonna go straight past everyone again. 
We are now in place number four. Uh, yesterday we uh, had uh, number two for a uh, uh, quite long period, but uh, in the last half hour we uh, dropped back to place four because uh, two other teams had a big quiz. But uh, there's still everything is still possible. Uh, we only uh, missing eight centimeters to uh, take the first place again. So I have a very good feeling and a very good sleep last night. So uh, the first cast will, will give us a big quiz, I hope. And uh, then we can take place number one. We are on uh, place number two currently. We really, really, really uh, got lucky in the end and uh, got a really good fish. One meter 17.5, I think. Three upgrades actually yeah. yesterday. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a good day for us. I think we were Killing the hap happiest fishermen on this planet Earth <laughs> in the end of the day. We were too much fishermen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One centimeter. We're yeah. one centimeter uh, below the top number one. So we have a little bit of work to do today. Uh, we have to kick out the little pike in our in our number six. Uh, it's a 91. It's a 91.5, yeah. so we have to get a, a one in front of it. Yeah. And nice it looks, upgrade and then uh, pretty good. we end the game. Good morning. Final day, last day, the teams are out, they are excited, I think at least a little bit nervous, especially the top three, it's, uh, it's going to be thrilled because the top three it's like only in centimeters, uh, it will be tough today and uh, it can be really exciting to see if this top three of two uh, fishing days will be the winners of Predator Tour 2019. This one swallow it. Sweden 2019, Timo and Fredrik!